How's it going everybody? Aaron Siegfried's Motorworks here today. We are in beautiful Destin, Florida. And we are going to be taking you guys on a test rod on one of our... Um, it's going to be hitting our website here when we get back to Pennsylvania. Um, we just did a bunch of service work on this thing so we brought it with so we could run it through the paces while it's nice in Florida and snowing at home. But either way, 2013 Yamaha Zuma 125. Uh, it's in the whatever electric blue um, pretty much bone stock with the exception of these super awesome hillbilly lights that the previous owner added to it um, just show you guys around the Zuma 125 here real quick uh, no leg shield storage you can add a storage compartment here but this one doesn't have it um, decently large Underseat storage area. Um, nice thing about this underseat storage is you can fit a full size helmet in it. So that is a, a big plus of the Zuma 125. Has a jiffy stand, also does have a conventional center stand as well. But either way, let's roll it off of both. Um, kind of weird gas tank placement on these two. So it's right there, it's keyed. Up. Um, and it doesn't fall then obviously so okay let's hit it um, if you're looking at my cockpit here uh, these so the kid that we got this ring from had these like hand guards on it but they were pretty beat up so we took those off um, we need to get the stock turn signal brackets yet so that's why this weirdness is there and then this is for his super awesome if you can see him lighting up there or not I don't know uh, off-road lights there so either way let's see what this is about uh, all right so like I said we just did a bunch of service work actually before we even do that let's Hit the uh, the quick deets on the old Zoomer 125 here first. Okay, and then we'll get you guys the uh, the good good about it. 2013 Yamaha Zuma 125, 58 mile per hour top speed in stock form. This is according to Motor Scooter Guide. Not Motor Scooter Guide, Motor Scooter Guide.com. Great website if you are looking to find out any information on any scooter from reputable people that actually give a flying hoot about scooters. That's a good website to use. We'll let this cat go. All right, so 2013 Zuma 125, 58 mile per hour top speed, 125 cc engine, makes seven foot pound of torque, 11 horsepower. Has a 30.7 inch seat height, 268 pound wet weight, and a 1.5 gallon fuel tank. So, you can go decently far on this thing without needing fuel. Um, this is the big brother to the, uh, you know, the, the OG Zoom of 50. Um, 2013, you wouldn't have had a two stroke Zoom available, you would only have the 50cc four stroke Zoom available. And if you had asked me four stroke 50 or four stroke 125, I wouldn't even think about the four stroke 50 Zumas. But four stroke Zumas are an abomination and they should have never been created. Two stroke Zumas are bust. When you're looking at this gauge cluster, nice, simple gauge cluster here. Uh, does have a check engine light because this is a fuel injected scooter. So if you're having issues, this will flash at you. Um, you have a turn signal indicator there, whatever. You have a high beam indicator there, a fuel gauge, and then obviously your odometer and speedometer. We'll let this kind of go. Um, Zuma 125 styling wise, they're okay. Um, I actually kind of prefer, as far as Zuma 125s go, this body style 
is my favorite. Uh, the body style that replaced this, they got away from the bug eye headlights. And to me, what makes a Zuma, whether it's a pre-bug Zuma, whether it's a bug eye Zuma, whether it's a four stroke 50, a two stroke 50, or a Zuma 125, to me, what makes a Zuma is this, the bug eye headlights, or the headlight design. Like the pre-bugs obviously don't have the bug eyes, but they have a very um, distinct headlight and the Zuma that the replaced this one so it would have been the second generation of the Zuma 125 those they went to this like square little single headlight like almost like a katana looking deal I don't like them I don't have much for them I don't think it looks like a Zuma um, doesn't deserve to carry that Zuma name in my opinion so not a fan of the headlights on those. So as far as body styles go of Zuma 125, this is hands down my favorite body style, the Zuma 125. Now, um, the newest body style, Zuma 125s that are out. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh no, this isn't the new Zuma. Yeah, no way, man, because Siegfried's Motorworks doesn't have pre-owned 2022 Zumas on our floor. <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of good. I haven't ridden one yet. I would really like to but I have not ridden one yet, uh, but I've heard a lot of really good things. I've heard they're really fast. Um, so, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they actually did good there. Um, not that they didn't do good on these, I just feel like they could have done better. In the Zuma 125s, they don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding like, I'm being a negative Nelly because it's by no means am I being a negative Nelly about the Zuma 125, but it's the kind of scooter that if if I if you have an education in motorsports, like you kind of have an expectation for things, and you were to ride a Zuma one. If I was talking to you, I was like, hey man, like you know we're we're hanging out at a hanging out at this restaurant over here, and we're talking about you know, our, our scooters, or our motorcycles, whatever. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I got a Zuma 125. And you're like, oh, I've never ridden one. Like, let me ride it. You're not going to come back and tell me like, oh my God, dude, that thing is so awesome. No, you're not going to come back and be like, oh my God, dude, that's just such a disappointment. It's just exactly what you expect. And it kind of is disappointing to me because Zumas have always been above the expectation. Um, a pre-bug, if, if same conversation, I was like, yeah, dude, I got a little 49cc Yamaha scooter out there, and I take you on, it's a pre-bug, you're gonna come back and tell me, like, dude, that thing is wild, like, I can't believe how fast that little scooter is. It would be above expectations. If you rode my bug eye, or any, even just a stock bug eye, you're gonna come back and same deal, you're like, oh my god, like, I can't believe how peppy that little scooter was. Where with this, you're going to come back and be like, oh my goodness, it's exactly what I expected a 125 to be. Now, that's not a bad thing. I don't think anyone can really go to Yamaha and say, gosh darn it, Yamaha, you gave us exactly what we expected. But you almost expect Yamaha to give you that little bit more. We've, they've almost trained us at like, hey, we'll give you a little bit extra <laughs> than what you're looking for. So... I mean, now granted, there are a lot of things you can do to Zuma 125s. Like, there's a ton of performance stuff available for these. Um, this one specifically, we don't have any performance stuff done to it. Um, we only thing that we really have. So, this one, the uh, what exactly was wrong with this? I forget. Okay, so the the kid that we traded this into us, he blew the the spark plug the spark plug with shotgun out um, he just over tightened the threads on the plug and rather than putting like a Healy coil or something like that I ordered all OEM parts from Yamaha because as a pre-owned scooter dealer especially in Pennsylvania most people want to see scooters with stock they don't want to buy the scooter that has all kinds of aftermarket stuff done to it so we've rebuilt this one back to stock with all OEM Yamaha parts. Um, it took like almost eight months to get everything in from Yamaha because of the COVID. Um, 
So that kind of sucked. This thing's literally been sitting in our storage uh, section for the last, I don't even know how long because of just waiting on parts and then waiting on a free lift to be able to fix it up. So that aspect of it was a little crazy, but I mean, that's acceleration. Like that's just roll. I mean, I'm wide open, a biker boy style, wide open rev. So, I mean, it's not that it's a slouch, it's just, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, there are a ton of performance parts available for these things. They have, you know, exhaust. Two Brothers makes them. I believe Yoshimura makes them. I'm sure there's a bunch of other little aftermarket companies out there that make them. Uh, there's big bore kits. Um, I believe there's cranks. There are a ton of parts available for these scooters. It's just a matter of... You know, doing what you want to do. But like I said, for our customers specifically, they like bone stock. They don't like mods in the scooter community. I mean, motorcycles, we generally do well selling a motorcycle that has an exhaust on it. But a scooter with an exhaust, just it sits and sits and sits and we have to struggle to sell it. So that's why we try and keep everything scooter-wise completely stock. Um, outside of like cosmetic stuff, they, people dig that, like windshields and all that kind of nonsense. But... Yeah, anyways, Zuma 125. My impressions of these are they are exactly what you're expecting when it comes to a fuel injected 125. Um, as far as they go, I mean, it is, don't get me wrong, it is a comfortable enough scooter. Um, you get two up riding ability, and it does have a fairly large seat. So it's not that you have to, it's not like riding a 50cc where you're slammed on top of each other if you're riding. Um, the floorboard is decent. Uh, there's a guy online, I don't know his name, if you've watched my videos, you've seen before, like I've done a 50cc highway peg, um, he makes, he also makes a peg for the 125s, I'll put a link to his thing in my video, maybe, if I remember to do it, um, but they do make a highway peg, that's nice, and they put your feet out here, but it's not a terribly it's not a terrible floorboard decent size nice knee room handlebar height's nice um that's normally an area i struggle with on pretty much any scoot <clears throat> excuse me that's an area i struggle with on really any scooter is this height right here uh, i don't have any issues on the zuma 125 uh, it's a nice comfortable ride as far as that goes yeah i mean it's not it's a nice scooter. It's a nice looking scooter. This one has, what does it have? 13,534 miles. I mean, now granted it has a new top end on it. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it's they're, they're pretty reliable scooters. I mean, this one had to be, the top end had to be replaced because the kid who owned it before was just incompetent when it comes to hand tools. So that's no fault of the scooter Yamahas. Um, but yeah, styling-wise, yeah, it's, it's just, it's the Zuma 50, it's the Bug Eyes Big Brother, man. Um, that's when these were originally brought out, so 09 would have been the first year of the Zuma 125. 09 was the last year of the Zuma, of the two-stroke Zuma 50s, so 09 is that kind of sweet spot year where you can see the Bug Eye to this. And don't get me wrong, the four-stroke Zuma 50s had that same bug eye look but like i said they don't deserve to be called bug eyes um handling wise i mean yeah this thing just kind of flies i mean it's a nice handling scooter goes through turns nice and simply easily handles well Let's bang through this turn here real quick so yeah it's a nice handling scooter uh it's definitely a sports scooter if you ever stumble across our website anything that says zuma is gonna have this kind of wording in it where it's a sport inspired scooter with go anywhere attitude. Uh, and that's what made the Zuma so legendary. I put that in every ad for, for sale Zumas that we have. And just to kind of break that down while we're on the last leg of this here test ride. Sport styling, if you look at it from the side, you can kind of see that like sporty looking, um, almost like racy look. Uh, a lot of people really dig. and 
Yamaha does it perfectly. The Zumas, in my opinion, have always done that perfectly. I feel like the Chi if you look at like Chinese scooters, like Wolf brand scooters and like Ice Bears and like the other pieces of shit out of China, if you look at those scooters, they try and make them look sporty and they just look cheap. The Yamaha pulls off the sport look perfectly. And then when I say that go anywhere attitude, typically the Zumas are gonna have a knobby tire on it. Um, I'm pretty notorious for switching out the like the reggae's for like a Michelin bopper solely because in Pennsylvania every mile per hour is important. So in Pennsylvania the reggae makes more sense or the bopper makes more sense where I live because I'd rather get the extra mile per mile or two per hour out of it. Um, but it still has that go anywhere attitude. I mean this isn't a dirt bike. It's not like you're gonna go you know, your buddy just got a brand new KX110 and you guys are going to go rip up the trails and you're going to take your Zuma. No. But it still has that go anywhere feel um, in comparison. I know we deal with a lot of customers who have super long, like almost mountainous style dirt driveways or stone driveways in Pennsylvania. And they like the Zumas. They like the... Oops, a little late on the turn signal there. They like the Zumas, and they like like our um, our Rough House 50s that we sell, and our um, our Hooligans, just because they feel like they're a little more confident in the uh, in that kind of more off-roady situation. So we do deal with a lot of people that have that kind of stuff, and they appreciate the little bit of off-road cue that comes with a scooter like a Zuma. Um, this one, so just to, just to bust through too, um, this one does have a Molosi Kevlar belt. It doesn't honestly make a difference. I've ridden this scooter when it had the OEM belt, and I've ridden this scooter when it had the Molosi belt. It doesn't make any kind of performance addition. The biggest thing that you're going to notice with the Kevlar belt is just belt wear, and it's also going to stand up to that heat a little bit better. So if you do have a Zuma 125 and you're replacing your belt, give that Melosi Kevlar look just because it's going to maintain speed a lot better. Um, these scooters, in my opinion, are fairly uh, notorious for when you're riding them. They will... Uh, sorry, we're just creeping back through here yet. When you're riding them, they will begin to not the belt doesn't deteriorate but as it gets warmer the belt starts to get hotter and gummier and it doesn't perform quite as well so and there's our side cart if you haven't seen the video on that side cart yet um, it either is up or is going up next week either way thank you so much for watching we are back on YouTube we're not going anywhere we're gonna be releasing new videos every Wednesday at 5 p.m. I think it is so every Wednesday 5 p.m. new videos hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you think of this Zuma 125 and also hit the bell so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day